Uh, hello, good people. Today I'm going to be talking about a drone that I recently got. It was a drone that had tremendous hype from DJI. Tremendous hype. I'm talking about the new Neo drone. Now, for me, I ordered the Neo when it's supposed to allege and release. I ordered this thing September the 6th when it's supposed to be released here in America, from what I knew, supposed to be released in America, but it never was. I did see, as you already saw, a lot of uh, videos online that it was released in other countries on the 6th, but for some reason, I got the drone October the 8th. So it was a, a month and two days before I actually got this thing. Now I hope DJI wasn't taking that on America because here in the United States, they was planning on having a DJI band. I think the traction has gotten less, but I hope DJI wasn't mad because DJ, America was saying, let's ban DJI so we're going to wait to release the drone in America. See, I got the drone with the so-called combo. I didn't get the combo that I wanted. I wanted the combo where it had the RC, I think it was N, RC N3 controller. I wanted that in my box. But all I got was a battery and the drone, and that's it. Luckily for me, I own several drones, and one of the drones I own is the DJI Mini 4 Pro, so I already had the controller, but I still may get a, a separate controller, so I don't have to be switching back and forth with connecting to, to the various drones. So, this is what I got in the box. I opened my box. I already opened it, and I'm just gonna show you the packaging. It was two packaging, the box and the battery holder. That was it. I said, damn. I ain't get the, uh, the controller, but I knew that it, it hit my mind. I ain't get the controller when I ordered it, cause that showed the batteries on there. That's all I had. But I was so excited. But I said several when I ordered when I hit that button, I realized, hey, I don't see no controller there. And as you can see, all I got was the drone and the batteries. That's all I got. Now, for the new people out there. I'm gonna have the link below to get the to get the drone working. You get yeah, I think I got a little some booklets with it, but hey, I got a link for the booklets. But I basically got it all set up, and you get some booklets that come with it. But I said I already opened my pack, my booklets find this house somewhere. But I got everything set up, and it's working. Now <clears throat> for the new people out there, if you get any controller, yeah, since since it don't come with a controller alone. It won't be paired with anything. Like for instance, when I got my Mini 4 Pro, it was already paired, so I didn't have to do no pairing. That was new to me with the DJI drone pairing. And the good thing about me, see I already have drones. Now I have a total of three drones. Here's my first drone, as I was talking about. Here's my new DJI Mini 4 Pro. Here's the controller that I used for that drone, for the Neo. And Here's the actual Mini 4 Pro drone right here. The first drone I had that I brought was the Potentic family of drones. My first drone was a Potentic Adam SE. A Potentic Adam SE. It served me well. I only crashed it at least a couple times and the reason I never I haven't had any major crashes before before I got any drone I bought me a nano or a micro drone that's not the first one I had I bought this later but for any new drone pilots out there but the Neo makes it a lot more better for you but still I bought me a micro drone this is the Holy Stone 420 I believe a micro drone to get used to controls here's the controls right here I flew the drone on a company at my house. Now, one negative about the Neo that I discovered by looking at videos online, it doesn't do well with low light conditions. So, for the most part, you probably won't be flying your drone indoors unless the sun is beaming right in. Like you got a large window for the sunlight to come in. It's dependent on sunlight because it got those sensors underneath. So, the Neo needs sunlight. You're not going to be flying it around your house 12 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock or 8 o'clock at night. It probably won't work. And I said probably. It needs actually sunlight. So, 
Like I said, here's my Potensic Adam drone. It's a wonderful drone for beginners. It only got bottom obstacle avoidance. So, as I learned from flying it, you better fly this drone carefully because it don't have no type of obstacle avoidance. But it, the Potensic Adam SE, this is my Adam SE, and I have the Potensic Adam right here. I don't need to show you because they both look identical except for the gimbal part. So, Back to my discussion about the Neo. Man. I'm making I'm gonna make some videos about this people. The reason I got the Neo because most drones like this, like my DJI Mini 4 Pro, they are not made to be flying at human levels. These drones these mini drones, the Mini 4 Pro, Potenza Adam, they meant to be flown at at least 20 meters. You can go to 10 if you want to, but most, but but to, to avoid most things, you should be flying at least 30 meters. I, I usually fly 30 meters. These drones are not meant to be flown at human levels. You fly at human levels, then you welcome a whole world of difficulties. You may run into the side of your house like I did before, trying to fly my drone, you know. Fly the drone around the house. You hit. I hit the steps, and that's it for the propellers. And also, these larger drones, like the Mini 4 Pro and larger, don't have no propeller guards like the Neo automatically have. To get propeller guards for the Mini 4 Pro and the potential Adam, you have to go dishing out more money. And then when you get the propeller guards, it makes the drone look more ugly. <laughs> it makes it, make it look more ugly. I've seen them. More bigger, more bulky, more ugly. So, that's why I love the Neo. I can fly at human level. Nobody ever say that. I watch many videos. They never say the benefit of flying the Neo. I can fly at my height. And I've done it today. I took the drone and flew it. You know, and I live in, <clears throat> I make videos about it. You know, I have a tree in the back and a tree on the side of my house. I was able to get the Neo to go around my house, fly on the tree, fly, fly in my backyard with my dog at, hover above my dog, he barking underneath of it, and bring it back around. That's what I love about the Neo. And if you've seen videos about the Neo, when they be doing those special uh, mode, circle mode, follow me mode, it's always at the human level. When you have the potential, the Mini 4 Pro, potential Adam, when they be doing that, follow me and tracking, they always high in the sky. The Neo, I got it so it can follow me low to the ground. So, another thing I love too about this Neo. Now I have a fast charge. You know, if you have a drone, you might as well get a fast charger to make it. Charge as fast as possible. The thing I love about these batteries, with my fast charger, I have that fast charger for these batteries right here. I discovered today with that fast charger, all three batteries charge up within 30 minutes. You know, maybe 40, but it don't seem long. Get your fast charger, charge it up, and you know, you can get a, those portable chargers too. As long as you got that, as long as you have that fast charger, you can have your, your drone always available. While you got, while you have one battery in here, you can have the others on the charger, charging up. Then, when this battery wastes out, put it back in. And by the time you use these other two batteries, this battery, this battery will be charged again. So, that's why I love the Neo people. For two reasons. The one that was obvious to me. I wanted to be able to have a drone that can fly at my level, and like, and I was talking to my wife today, and it doesn't look fearsome. Let me get this drone out. I'm about to get him. Hold on, people. I want to show you. When you have a drone looking like this, when your drone look like this, and the propeller is going all around crazy, making all that noise, people are afraid of this. They are. The make, oh my God, the propeller going to hit me? It's going to cut my skin? The propeller zooming around, making all that noise? Now, with the Neo, the Neo does make noise, but it doesn't look dangerous. That's the main thing I like about it, too. It comes with propeller guards. 
And the pill is tiny. It don't put the fear of God in a person like these are pills. I know they don't hurt, but yeah, I got hit with the pill before. It do give you a little sting. But with these tiny propellers, it won't hurt me one bit. And they got the propeller guard. I love it for the size and be able to fly at my human height. And the only time you can fly a drone like this at human height, if you're in some rural area where there's a bunch of farmland at and it's flat, then I can bring it down to my level. But if you're in an urban area or some suburban area or a city, you're not going to be flying no drone like this at the human level. Oh, and if it is at the human level, it's at a, on an open field, like a, a park lot where you can see everything. It's flat. Here, I can fly this anywhere. So the reason I love it, number one, I can fly right at, at my face and it don't look dangerous. And I, I did this today too. Usually, when I fly this type of drone, I have it sitting at least three meters away from me. Then I make it take off. Three minutes away, then I take it off. When I had this today practicing, I have it right beside me. Like this drone, like this nano drone, I can fly right beside me. With the Neo, I can have it sitting right beside me. You know, I have it a little bit away, like over here, right here. I might have it like this far from me. And I just take off from right there. So, it do, it is compact. Now, the thing I don't like about it, you can't put it in your pocket. You know how it, it is light. Yeah. This got the battery in it, but this, I'm going to put the battery in here and see how much, make a weight comparison. Let me put the battery in here. Hold on, good people. Let me make a fair comparison. Yeah, even though it's less than 250 grams, I can still feel that weight. You hear me? The weight, I can still feel it going down. So this is a lot lighter. I heard people say it's a 150 gram, but I don't have no scale, so I take it. I say it's less than that 200 grand. This is less than 200. This is pushing 250. Pushing. This is a lot lighter. So if it hits you, ain't, if it fall on you out the sky, ain't, well, it still got some weight, but it ain't going to kill you. So that's what I love, people. I can fly at my human level. I can have it fly right near me. And like I said, I discovered this today. With a fast charger, it charged within 30 minutes. So if I go to one of my computer stores and buy one of mobile chargers, I can connect the charge to it and have it always charged, always ready to go. Now, there's only one negative about it that I discovered today. Like a drone like this, if I take a 20 meters on a regular day, it never give me no wind warning. 20 meters, no wind warning. Since this drone is so light, if I took this 20 meters or higher, it gave me that wind warning right away. Now, the only negative I had about this drone I got this drone on October the 8th, the predicted date it was going to come. I put it down, I didn't touch it until the next day, October the 9th. I had trouble connecting it with my control, with my RC to control it. Wednesday I had trouble, Thursday I had trouble, and I finally got it to work, and Friday I had trouble, I finally got it to work on Saturday. So it took me like at least several days to get it connected to this. <clears throat> but I did discover too, from doing research, you need the DJI Assistant Program. It will, now, it will install on Windows and Macintosh. I'm sorry Linux users, it won't install it on Linux. But if you download the DJI Assistant um, app or program, it will put the actual program on your computer. And all you have to do, you know, you have to hook it up, you know, um, USB-C, hook it up to here. It will recognize the Neo. Then it will give you the option to upload software to it. Then I hook, so I hooked the Neo up first. Then I hooked up my RC controller to the USB-C. I went back to the assistant, hooked it up. It recognized this. I chose the appropriate software. But the one negative I have about that is when it was uploading, the screen never changed. You know, most time when you're uploading something, the screen's going to change until you're just uploading. The negative is, when you're uploading that particular file, the upgrade, the firmware, it don't do nothing. I don't know if it's really working or not. I know it's working on my, on that computer app, because it's showing 0%, 50%, 100%. It works there, but here it don't let me know anything. But like I said, I finally got it to work. 
using that assistant thing because I, it took me about three or four tries to get it to work. But it did work. I got it to work today. Thank you for stopping by and seeing my review of the Neo, what I love about it. I love that I can fly at my own level. I truly can fly it around my house. You can't fly a drone like this around your house without it hitting and crashing something, especially since if it don't have obstacle avoidance. If I was using my DJI with the obstacle avoidance, it probably would, it would stop or try to bypass it. With this, I was able to smoothly encircle my house. To take off, I was able to have it at least a uh, hundred centimeters away from me, or more, like right here. I was able to fly from a distance of like right here. I just took it off, and uh, and when you say land, it will land in your palm. I'm gonna make a video about that. The the, the various apps. I make a video about that. I did an experiment with it today, but I'm gonna have a pro understanding of how to use those features on here. So again. If you're using an RC controller, <coughs> you need the DJI Assistant to hook it up to this. If you're using just your cell phone, you just need to go to the um, DJI Fly app download. And the negative about that is I have an Android phone. Most things take several seconds to um, download. When I went to the, um, on my Android tablet and my Android phone, when I went to the DJI download, for the fly app, it took minutes. I thought something was wrong, but it eventually did install a software. And when it do install a software, it's not called DJI Fly App. It had the number 17. It, it was about 20 digits on there. 17, 17, 15, 16, 23, 25. It was like that. Like, like, it didn't make no sense. So thank you for stopping by to see my review of this wonderful, nice little project. And oh, one more thing too, what I really loved about it, you don't have to take off the gimbal guard because you know the gimbal that's go up and down. You're able to leave the gimbal guard on there when you're flying it. And it still look, the image, you know it's not perfect, but it, it looks pretty good. Because I, I was outside practicing with those pictures today, I, I forgot to take off the gimbal guard. It's still, you don't even, you don't have to take off the gimbal guard. It still looks wonderful. Thanks for stopping by to hear my review of the DJI Nero, Neo. And I'll be uploading videos about it. As particular apps and fly around my neighborhood. Thank you for stopping by. Till the next time. Uh, drone lovers. Bon voyage.